Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Peter Johnson at WheatPeat, RealAgriculture.com, and we're going to talk about corn, that other crop. So what is going on out there in the cornfields? Well, it's 2017. What a different year. Wet, cold, crappy, tough to get planted. It's almost the end of May and there's still a lot of corn to go in the ground. What does that mean to the nitrogen or the sulfur in that soil? So Ben Rosser and the OMAFRA team always do a nitrogen survey and they do that typically about six leaf corn because that's side dress time. So we'll wait for those results. Those are the results that will really matter. But so far, we already have some early indications that look like this will be a low nitrogen year. So Chris Rollins from Honeyland Ag Services, Jack Legg from SGS, they've been out there doing soil nitrates, doing some plant analysis on some wheat, and you know what they're finding? 60% as much nitrogen this year as the previous two years. So that's, that's a full one-third or 40% less nitrogen in the soil on May the 25th than there was in 2016 or 2015. Why is that and does it matter? Why? Well, it's been cold and wet. 16 was cold but dry, so the bugs had oxygen, they could work. 17, cold and wet. Wet soils, the bugs don't work very much. They really slow down. Wet soil is cold soil. So we don't get that nitrogen release. So why are we in the sewer for nitrogen? Because the bugs haven't turned on yet. Does that matter long term? And the answer is yes. You might say, well gosh Peter, there's just as much organic matter in the soil. It's all there to release. Yeah. But the bugs work based on temperature. And if they start on the 1st of May, and let's say they release two pounds per week on the 1st of May, well, that starts to add up. And by the end of May, you know, I've got 10 pounds or I've got 15 pounds. If they don't start till the first week in June or the 15th of June, I never gain that back because they can't get that six weeks again. Yeah, there's as much organic matter, but now they only have from the 15th of June till the 15th of August to release it. So that really does play in how much nitrogen we have available. Why do you guys out west think you need so doggone much nitrogen on your wheat crop? Gosh, John Hurd from Manitoba tells me 2.5 pounds of nitrogen for every bushel of wheat. That's insane in Ontario. Why? Because we get warmer soils. Our soils release in time for that wheat crop. Your soils don't release in time because you're that much colder. So, really interesting. 60% of normal soil nitrogen right now. Sulfur is also in the sewer, in the wheat crop. We are seeing unbelievable sulfur deficiency. And that's because we're not getting out of the soil. Does that mean we need sulfur on the corn crop? Not necessarily, but much, much more likely. It's probably one of those years where it actually might pay to be in that game. So there's an initial thought on nitrogen. Pay attention when Ben and the Omafra team come back because that'll give the final say. That's at six leaf corn when we really make those decisions. But boy, there just isn't much nitrogen out there right now.